this water and the dry ice, it helps a great deal because, you know, if when all else fails, you got water, you at least hydrate. Some neighbors in Elmira still didn't have power this morning, but by the end of the day, most are back online. But the real problem wasn't the lack of air conditioning, but all the spoiled food. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. I'm Scott Kirk. Thanks for choosing Twin Tiers tonight in high definition. Now we're told about 97 people in the city of Elmira still don't have power. 97 customers, I should say, about 200 in Shimon County. And after Thursday's storm, some people were just getting power back this afternoon for the first time in four days. And while that power was out, keeping food edible was a big problem. WENY TV's Joe Malillo spoke with some neighbors who lost a lot of food this weekend and joins us live in the studio. Joe. Renata, it may not seem like a lot was lost, but some people I talked to stock up on groceries to save. And this weekend, they lost everything. We lose in everything. We had no power, huh? Nope. At all. Families were stopping by the Nice Egg Distribution Center on Lake Street this afternoon. Many still didn't have power. I had a big chest freezer. Uh, I don't know what you just say about nine, nine by thirteen or whatever. Yep. Filled all the way to the top with me. All the way, and I lost it all. With power out for more than three days, an unforeseen problem has emerged. Wasted food. You have to have gloves on, but it comes in pellets and dissipates. You know, the dry ice, if, if they could have gotten it a little sooner, then maybe it might have saved everybody's food. But it was a little too late for the dry ice. But at least the dry ice keeps the water cold. Volunteers working at the Elmira Economic Opportunity Program made a thousand sandwiches today before noon. They made more than 3,000 total sandwiches for the Red Cross in three days. Those sandwiches will go a long way towards getting people through the next few meals. I think that there, the food is definitely an issue because a, a lot of people still do not have power. So they're working off of, like I said, you know, sandwiches and those types of things. And the Lake Street Distribution Center closed this afternoon and the state of emergency in Elmira will be lifted at 6 o'clock. Live in the studio, Joe Malillo, WENY TV News.